Let's calculate network number three. To calculate network number three, I convert three to binary, make it so that it can fit into three bits, and fill in my borrowed bit section. So 0, 1, 1, those three bits are equal to three if we take them completely out of the equation here, right? If we just disembody these three bits and ignore everything else, 0, 1, 1 is three in binary. So I'm filling my network number. I put that into my borrowed bit section. I put all zeros in the host portion. That gives me my network address for network number three. I add one to it to get my first host. Calculate my broadcast address by putting all ones in the host portion. Subtract one from the broadcast address to get my last host. So now once again, keep paying attention to this. My network address, first host, last host, and broadcast, the first 27 bits of all of these addresses are identical. The only thing that's different is the last five bits. Except if you notice, those last five bits, that pattern repeats itself. For every single address that we're working with, the network address in a slash 27 mask always has five bits. It's always 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. The first host on a 27-bit mask is always 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. The last host with a 27-bit mask is always 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And the broadcast address for a slash 27 is always 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So let's take each 8-bit section now and convert it back to decimal and take a look at what we have. So our network address here, 203.0.113.96 slash 27. First host, dot 97. Last host is dot 126. And my broadcast address is dot 127. Something many people have to get used to is the fact that this network address, 203.0.113.96 slash 27, that dot 96 is an unusual network address because it doesn't end in a zero. But once again, if we look at the binary of that, here's network number three in binary again, there are definitely all zeros in the host portion here. So we know that 96 is a network address. This is a concept that's a little bit hard to get used to. So hang out with it and keep an eye on the binary version of the IP address because that is where the mathematics, that is where the router and the PC and other network devices, those devices are going to be looking at the IP address in binary and finding out where network and host portion are. So if we look at network three in binary here, this is how the computer looks at it. So when we look at it like this, it should make sense that we're following the rules here of network address, broadcast address, first and last host.